Hey people, Matt Jones here. Welcome back to my channel. So only one month ago, Woburn Trails looked like this. Now, that is what the trails look like for six years. Never changing, just always the same line at Woburn. But in the last month, so much has changed. And I've been away on holiday. So my last update from Woburn, from the build updates, from the digging project was three weeks ago. And so much has changed just while I've been away on holiday in Bali, in Thailand. I've come back from an amazing trip, but the trails have changed so much again, which is really exciting. And other stuff has happened as well. I've got a new camera, the Canon 80D, which is... So the videos are gonna get better, the quality is gonna get better. I've also bought a drone, the DJI Spark. Drone shots are so good, especially for here. I'm gonna get six shots of the jumps today to show you the updates and the changes. So later on, I'm gonna get the drone in the air to do a bit of a comparison from one month ago until today. And so much has changed. This has all been moved with shovels. So there's been a lot of people making woven insane. It's gonna be nuts. And so much sand has been moved, I can't stress. So what's new, what's different? You've seen the big right hip, the lip still needs building. When that lip has been built, which I'm hopefully gonna to do today, because then that right hip is gonna be rideable. Then the shark fin is gonna be rideable, another new feature. Then the transfer will be rideable, because all this is pretty much ready to go. Then the transfer is gonna be rideable. So after this transfer, you've seen what's happening, the big lily pad, but actually in the last few weeks, it's all changed. It's the same concept, but it's so different and actually is gonna work so much better. Like honestly, so much better. With the big tunnel drainage, this bomb hole, you know that lip, you know the lily pad up until there, but then have a look at how much bigger it's got. <laughs> it's a massive beast. I actually can't get it all in on the camera. Oh, oh my God, I fell. It's a monster. Two things have shocked me since getting back late last night. Firstly, England is freezing now. What the hell has happened? What is this? What's all that breath I can see? Not impressed. The second thing that shocked me, walking into the trails this morning, is how much dirt is in that big boob. That lily pad is like a double-decker bus of sand. I've got to show you again, look. Last time I was here, the last update, it finished about here rolled down and went into a 180 berm. Now look, it's honestly triple the size. There, where's the bottom, the bottom's down there. That is a beast. It's got such a steep back to it. And then now look, that berm. In the last update, there wasn't a berm here because look, there's the first hip of the line. That's the start of the trails. Now there's a berm, one, two, three, four, six features later, that's actually behind the first jump of a line. I've never experienced that, that's new for me. I don't think many sets of trails in the world go back past where they started to then drop in again. This is mad. So the, the berm, the 180 berm was down here because this lily pad was so small. The berm could sit right there and then we were gonna drop down the hill again. With all the speed coming off of that transfer, maybe the lily pad was gonna be on the small side. It was small and it deserves to be massive. Whoever has been helping, which is a lot of people, to build a lily pad, which is that vast, you're all legends. So now what? I'm stood on the first jump. There's a whole line of jumps behind me. They continue back up past where I'm stood and then go back down the hill again. That is seriously cool. Woburn's never been like that. And now we've got like this weird super cross track layout that goes back and forth and back. It's so cool. I'm actually really impressed with this camera. It's gonna make such a difference on the videos. But this is gonna look nuts on the drone fly. I can't wait to get it in the air. There's the boom. It's just vast. It's a massive feature. Hopefully you can still nose manual the whole way up that. I'm sure that's gonna turn into a pond, which is gonna be sick. You can tell I'm excited. I've been away lying on a beach with my girlfriend. It's been magic to come back and see progress. This much progress is, is insane. Look at that berm. Looks like a bit of a flat deck here. Drop, landing. There's the other end of the tunnel drainage that needs opening up a bit. The racer, you've seen. So here's the racer, lip, landing. You've seen this, but what comes after is brand new. So we've actually got this hip, the, the lip that's gonna go both ways, right hip, left hip, and there's this lip. It's a beast, how it all slots together. There's three separate lines, if you like, or are all part of the same line. Big lip, look, it basically, it's, <laughs> they've used a step ladder just to dig it. This is big. I'm gonna actually position the camera and show you how big this is. 
and there was a whole jump there when I left. The, the old fifth of the line was there, and it's just it's been completely pulled across. And Sam's told me he's got loads of time lapses of this, so I'm going to get the drone in the air. Then we're going to do time lapse time, so you can see what's gone on. No, I'm going to go up the step ladder. The jumps are getting serious now. We've come off the berm, we've got the racer, then we've got the first really, really chunky lip of the whole line. And the reason the lip's so wide, the reason that needs to be wide, it's gonna be a left hip, it's also gonna be a right hip. Look how wide it is. And then after the split, the left landing, the right landing, the jumps are gonna to come together again down there. So it's a super cool feature. Let me just show you what drone potential we have, because we actually don't have any trees in this area. There's gonna have to be so much dirt in this landing. It's gonna be like this high. Oh God. Okay, so what actually needs to happen? That lip over there on the 90 degree hip needs building because it needs testing. I might even get my bike today. This needs testing. Two, three, four. Six features that could all be ridden. They're yet to be tested and we're building a whopper of a jump over here. But what needs doing for you guys? What do we need to do right now? I need to fly the drone. I'm gonna get the drone in the air and show you all of this from an aerial view. The DJI Spark is a really cool drone. Look how small this thing is. It's like my iPhone, it's so cool. This is my first ever drone and it's so easy to use. I can always do a review on it if you guys want, but let's get it in the air. Let's check out these trails. It's such a cool little thing. pretty mega seeing trails from above. It's such a different perspective. And that has made me even more excited to film riding with a drone here because you're gonna have people coming this way, you're gonna have people going that way, you're gonna have people coming this way. All from above, it's gonna just be like mind blowing. This is really exciting for a lot of people. But for me, this, this being Woburn, this is where I discovered mountain biking. This is where I did my first ever jump on a bike and now six years since dreams were shattered and Woburn was flattened, it's back and it's probably, it's really better than ever. So this is really exciting. As I've got better, as I've learned new tricks, traveled the world, the place that I started at and it all began is gonna really be the best place for me to be riding again. It's gonna be pure trails and that is my favorite type of riding, honestly. Just have another quick look at that feature. I'm here on my own and I'm shouting about it. Look at that, I can't wait to ride it. Shout out to everyone who has put the work in. Look at the state of this place, it is magic. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm stoked on the new camera, I'm stoked on the drone, I'm stoked on the trails. So it's time to build that new lip, get riding. Next video is testing this stuff and I'll let the time lapses run. Enjoy the time lapses. Thank you for following the updates. Thank you for commenting all your cool ideas and thank you for being legends. Let the time lapses run. Peace.